You saw when I was unboxing a Thomas and Friends diecast train. I can't remember the name now, you'll have to go look back and look. But it's got off road rubber tyres. You can tell these are rubber. Spare tyre on his back. He's also got a, another set of headlights and the radiator springs spoiler on the back. And that is, oh, and also this is a Silver Racers Lightning Queen. Which I think Mum also got me, because I wanted to see Lightning McQueen in other colours. I like it. And here are the cars finally, last but not least, we've got cars 3 Lightning McQueens. Starting with the most commons I've got. So when I go out to B&M Home Bargains, they always come across this Lightning McQueen, which is the cars 3 Lightning McQueen, as you saw me unbox him. And it's got like a different mould from the other one. Unlike that, this one fits more on the Hot Wheels track. And this one is a one that I've tried to customise to look like a den damaged McQueen. I tried to make it look like a damaged McQueen from the opening when, or the teaser trailer when McQueen flips into the air and crashes. And here I got this one I got from the from the charity shop. I got this set lightning McQueen, which is a from this truck here, Willie's Butte. This is just a plastic, another plastic vehicle with paper stickers all over, including the headlights. Now we'll have a look at others. This is the Rusty's Racing Centre, if you saw, and I got him out. He had a faded printing on the tyre right out of the box. And I don't think I should, I should probably pick up more of these if I see them, because these are pretty nice. I could use one of these to make just a Whipple filter, which I'll show in a bit. And this is a Mini Racers Lightning McQueen, which isn't too good, but I love it because I can fit it on my train set in the train room. I mean, the tyres on this are real, but it always looks good on my gut model train set, my double O gauge train set. Moving on, we have the Lightning McQueen as Chester Ripple Filter. This one is called Is a Mini Racers, covered in muck, number 15. I got it in a pack with crews and the water tanker. Now, this vehicle is also. Lightning McQueen as just a Whipple filter. Only they've used as mould from the old car. Oh, and this one at the back is a Crazy Eight Racers, which I got with Miss Fritter, the school bus, while I was at the factory shop. Pretty good vehicle. You can drift and do donuts and stuff, which I like. Oh, and behind the Lightning McQueens is another one that you've seen in my previous cars videos on my play. If you check my playlist, I'll be updating it a lot. This is a Dickie Toys Lightning McQueen from Cars 3, which I've seen in Smiths. It's a pretty good car. I've actually painted the tyres with lightyear. I used, but I used um, correction fluid instead of using pink white. Instead of printing it on, or using white paint. I didn't do it good, I couldn't do it my best, but I might try better next time I do it. And I, want, I am still trying to find the Dickie Toys Lightning McQueen from the Cars 2 and the other vehicles. I've got Cruise, I've got Storm and I've got Mac in this range of turbo vehicles. So if you've got more I need to look for, like Finn or Mater or even the Fabulous McQueen. And let's have a look at the fabulous Lightning McQueens, which here they are. 
this one is a mini races I got in a pack with a Golden Cruise and a Metallic Storm. Number 95 for Doc Hudson. Rusty's fabulous Lightning McQueen. Metallic finish. And here is one which is a fabulous McQueen. For Doc Hudson. Born it's 95. Light year. Rusty's. And now let's have a look, last but not least is the final Lightning McQueen, which I think is the all time best one I've got yet, is the Ultimate Lightning McQueen, which you've seen in my videos. It's a pretty cool looking vehicle, and it's actually good performance as well. I can't put it on right now because I'm using the iPhone, I can't switch him on. But this has got working headlights, a moving mouth, and also the windshield does turn on and light up. And let's see, this one's also front wheel drive instead of rear wheel drive, which is why it's powered by the front two front tyres. And, oh, actually, no, I missed a Lightning McQueen out. Oh. This one's a Kitty Craft Lightning McQueen from Disney Cars Street. I got it in a pack with Cruz Ramirez, Jackson Storm, and also got it off Amazon with. Um, River Scott, M Louise Nash Barnstormer, and Junior Moon. You can tell it's a Cars 3 Lightning McQueen. Put the 95 under the headlight and Lightning Bolt to Flames and Rusty's. So you better look on, if you look on the Cars Wiki, you might find more things about this vehicle and modifications he's gone through. Oh, and since I've, got, I've only got a few minutes left, so I'm gonna step back a bit and show you all the McQueens I've collected over the years because these cars are pretty expensive if I just step back a bit I'm not knocking my cars and stuff sorry guys never left enough room right here they are. All the Lightning McQueens we have collected I'm, I'm bragging about because it takes a whole lot of money, time, effort. These are all the Lightning McQueens I've got. I can't see I've missed any out. The only one I've missed out is the Tyco Lightning McQueen, which is like 1 16th scale or Possibly smaller, but that one is being looked over. We need a transmitter, but anyways. Thank you so much for watching, YouTubers, and bye for now.